Hello, beautiful. It's Today we're going to be looking at more storyboard problems. Nope. Nope. I moved. And it kind of brought the storyboards to a halt. But that's not all. So I was making some designs for a client and they needed to show a user taking a picture of a receipt on their smartphone kind of a thing. So I found an illustrated asset of a receipt we could use as placeholder until the client got the rights to an actual photo. Anyway, when the client saw the illustration, they loved it and they said they wanted us to use an illustration but make it look real. So I thought, okay, I'll turn my 3D software subscription back on and make a realistic render, super smart. You'd think I'd double check with the client to make sure we don't wanna just use a photo before spending money on a subscription for Maxon Cinema 4D. Am I a bad person? Yes. Okay, so anyway, the client emailed me the photo they wanted to use like 10 minutes after I paid for the Maxon subscription. Um, so I did some animation pre-production instead of finishing the storyboards, like I promised in the last video. I'm sorry. So I had to move my avant-garde sausage body in front of a camera in order to reference how to animate a 3D rigged character because I have no school and no cares. The plan is to use these scenes for rotoscoping the final 2D animation composite. Why would you do this? Probably trained and skilled animators are yelling at me right now. And why is his sausage body so avant-garde? Why? So in 2018, I was making some designs for a client and they wanted marketing assets, but wanted me to produce them using magic because they didn't have any. Sorry, that's industry jargon for stock photos that don't take three times the project scope for everyone to make up their minds on. If you're a designer, you'll know what I'm talking about. We just hired an award-winning sociopath with six years of experience making everyone else's life more difficult, who suggested we use illustrations for the marketing assets. What I'm insinuating there is that he was still pretty green. I took it upon my expert self to compound three times the project scope into my own private 90 hour work weeks, developing an illustration tool from scratch with 3D software so that we could pump out illustrations as if you ordered them from Amazon Prime. The client loved the assets we produced with it. The sociopath did not. And so he proceeded to get me fired and blacklisted from the freelancing platform I was on. I had to sell everything and move into a friend's house. I was financially ruined, but anyway, this tool I developed allows me to create a wide variety of figures with different body types very quickly. It's essentially a customizable character rig that I built using Cinema 4D's internal node-based programming framework called Expresso, because I'm advanced. But I only intended these figures to be used for creating still illustrations. I discovered while working on the fashion videos at the start of this channel that if I uploaded the figures I make into a tool called Mixamo, I have the ability to generate a fully animatable character I can bring back into Cinema 4D, like the full professional 3D rig situation. And so while I was working on the fourth fashion video in Cinema 4D, I started animating more seriously and I had a bit of an aha moment. I was like, wait a sec. I love this. And that's why I'm still actively working on this animated short film a year and a half later and not fashion. So this tool combined with Mixamo lets me create a rigged model reference of each character in the film and lets me draft adjustable and reusable animations at any camera angle I want. So that's why I'm doing this. Like it's super flexible. And I'll be sure to show that in more detail in future videos and explain that. So speaking of future videos, this one's essentially over. So I'm excited to jump back into the rest of the storyboards and show you more of that progress next time because uh, they're almost done. So if you haven't already, make sure you're following me on Instagram where I post more frequent updates. And if you're intrigued by this animation project so far and want to show your support, please consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all next time. Extra advanced.